Hello, welcome back to the Geeks Garage. We have a Nintendo Switch. Um, smash screen, LCD. So, I thought I've not done one on camera before. In fact, I think I've only ever changed one or two, to be perfectly honest. So, thought, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll change it. We'll change it together. Um, sorry, just right. um, all this junk. Uh, where's the one that I've just done? That's there. This one. shipped out. What we'll do is we will take the back off it so it's the four tri wings let me give you a decent view four tri wings one in each corner to take the back case off the Nintendo Switch and then you need to swap to your Phillips and um, here and under the um, SD card goes you've got one very small Phillips in there you have two near where the charger goes I don't know if you, you can hear it the rain banging on the roof it's absolutely chucking it down The one at the top's missing. All this grill here is all missing. It's been broken, which I'm assuming this has been opened before. Normally that's the case. We'll find out as soon as we open it. been open before it's got um, fingerprints all over the inside here so it's not been open for a while you still got all the dust and the air intake I've left the game in it <coughs> Again, I'm not really a gamer to be honest. Leave that to one side so we don't forget to put it back in. Now we'll take this case off as well. Same scenario with me. All the screws from the outer shell and this inner case or shield whatever they all stay together once I take the shield off all the other screws go to the opposite side uh, it's because some of them are, are magnetic these ones are basically take all those Phillips out pop off the SD reader that's all them off take that out that's been replaced before um, but it was a while ago and it's quite hard again so we will replace that obviously um, I don't think the fan's been out before uh, I 
if they have, they've renewed the sponge, so I would suggest that it hasn't. The board looks very clean. Very clean. In fact, there's no fingerprints in here at all. So, yeah, it's very clean that. Okay, so let's have the screen out. We've, we remove the game card reader. Um, we remove the heat sink. get a blade I do and cut around the sponge here that way it goes back in really well I mean I actually thought this had been opened it must have been damaged on the outside another another you know a different way but yeah okay Fingerprints on there. Yeah, again, if they walk gloves, there wouldn't be any. This is the LCD connector here. We'll whip that out. And this is the backlight. Okay, so we take that out as well. This is the touch. Now, I'll also pop off the battery at this point. Now we'll stick this on the heat mat in a few minutes. <coughs> just put a new screen in this one here so we'll have to we'll take this one out okay I mean there it says need to need oh, there it says need screen then I've crossed it out I've just literally put a brand new screen in here it hasn't been used yet so we'll take this one back out because I don't have one in stock at the moment and the guy wants to switch back ASAP like they all do so we will use that one. I have got some on order, but you know, it takes a while for them to arrive. Come from China. So we'll give that a few minutes on there. Plenty that is. Whilst we're doing that, we'll heat this one up. Right, to get into this, we have to lift it up at this corner, work our way around. This is the touch screen, you have to be careful with it as well. I mean, the glue. All the way around, we have the, the connector at this end. Okay. And it will.
obviously stick itself back down as you move away so throw a couple of picks in there to prevent that happening I mean these aren't as difficult as say an iPad you know so but they do like to stick themselves back down so the adhesive is fairly strong so right down this side as well and you go to this point we can lift it up pull it back now we're not going to take that bit out because we don't need to but the LCD literally comes out just like that yeah. leave that sat there for one minute in fact move it over to one side while we take this one out this one should be easier because I've only I've not long done it but we want to be careful with this LCD because this is the one we're going to be using ok reuse it yeah pop that one out put it to one side place it in back into this one now put the dust on it there I've left, I've, I haven't took the board out, you know we've done it with the board left inside, okay connectors come through here, back lights come through there, we're leaving the, the original touch on because it does work, you just press it back down there, turn it over We'll put the connectors on and then we will put it back on the heat pad to redo the glue. So back on with this connector. I, I'm sorry but with this connector I do like to use a scope. I'll let you have a look as well. I like to use my scope because if you get this connector wrong it's uh, you're asking for trouble and as I don't as I can't see very well I just like to use my scope shouldn't force it it should literally just slide straight in if it does what that's doing sticking in the middle we want to check none of the pins are bent. None of those pins are bent. They're all good. Don't know why it's stuck in the middle then. But yeah, if you if you get any of those pins bent in here, you literally you've just made your job harder because you have to replace this connector here which you know it's not it's not the end of the world but you just don't want to do it and it's such a fiddly connector it, it can you know it can uh, you can bend a pin in this connector very very easily I would say out of all I'd say everybody that works on a switch will tell you the same thing that connector is um, it, it, it's a pain it's a pain in the backside you know if you're going to damage a connector on a switch it's going to be that one okay we'll put in the backlight if it wants to go in 
I don't have my glasses, that's <laughs> I'm struggling to see. I really should have glasses on and I don't have them. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, that's it. this back on because this is a touch screen connector okay put the battery back in let's turn it around and switch it on Our Nintendo logo. Our Switch logo. I've burst my glove. <laughs> okay. Happy days. Let's turn it off. Disconnect the battery again, and then we'll put it back on the heat for a few seconds well, a minute while we uh, we just let that um, put it on the heat mat, let it heat up, make the glue all nice and sticky again. We'll take it off. And then that, that's it, it'll be set. Okay, we'll give it a little press around like that. That's it, we can put this back together now. That, that's, that's, that's a screen change, that's it, it's done. Um, go back to this screen while we put everything back together. favourite screwdriver that I like to use isn't working very well, it's, it's well used I need to replace them, I'm using this one at the minute but it's, it's a little bit too long I don't have the control on it that I would like um, ok we now just need to turn that heat that off I need to clean this off Put some new thermal paste in there. Arctic MX4 is uh, one of the top pastes. It's a really, really good paste. It's a little bit more expensive than some but it's it's good it does exactly what it's meant to do and it lasts a long time so it's worth the extra couple of quid you will not get anything back complaining about it overheating and clean that side 
place it back in place. Replace the, uh, the retaining screws. Yeah, I need new screws right. I'm not I'm not overly impressed with this one. I mean, I have my electric one there, but I need to charge it up. I'm going to use it because it's better than them. The magnetic, I don't have, I need to change the end. It should be magnetic and it isn't. I don't know why I changed the end, I can't remember what I was doing last time. But I should have a magnetic end, where's it gone? Phillips or try. Yeah, it's a try, that's not right. Wait a second. before now, closed it all up and not done the battery. Just need to clean the back side of this. And some IPA. Um, just break this off. Because it's hard. Yeah. clean as well. Get a fresh one. to the back shield. And that's it with the thermal paste. Couple back on the back. The screws back in. This one isn't magnetic either. I don't know what I've done with me uh me bit. I'm carrying using this screwdriver then for now because this is magnetic. And then this back case, just give it a little wipe with some alcohol to take all the dust off. It'll just take longer for the new, you know, new dust that gets in there to actually stick so
they'll know it's been open because I obviously have to put my warranty sticker in and then I also have to put in So just have to make a little label to go on the inside which lets me know what was done and when just waiting for my computer to work slow for some reason LCD it's the 20th of January 2021 Size. The ones that were in there were too big. Okay, print that off. I'll print two off, one for the uh, for the packing packaging when I put this back in before the customer collects and get this number from that I know all this doesn't need to be on the video I do apologize um, there's no harm in it label thing started messing me around here but it has um, covers the warranty sticker it isn't the end of the world but basically you can't get into that switch without damaging it if that's damaged my warranty is void okay cover back on we have the tri-wings 
going to go in. busy this evening. I try my hardest not to look or answer when I'm making a video but at the end of the day it's work so you need to try and keep one eye on it. Customers tend to get a little upset when you haven't answered instantly. So I'm trying to finish this off as fast as we can. Chucking things at it. The one at the top was missing, wasn't it? The two at the bottom were in. These screws aren't magnetic on the outer case. I keep them separate from the board screws on the inside because they're the same size and they're black ones but they're not magnetic uh, they are magnetic these ones aren't okay we put this small Phillips one in here right back in place where it was I know it doesn't hold on very well we shall put the game back in Turn it on for one last try. Okay, I'm happy with that. Give it a little clean with some alcohol because the customer is coming to collect it. It's only just been finished with, and we are we are obviously still in a pandemic. So, yeah, good clean. So safe for him to collect. The gloves were new when I came in. He's only just dropped it off. So we uh, we'll turn it off completely. Off. Put it in an envelope. Seal it up, and then his label goes on there. Okay. Right. Excellent. It's got a phone number on there, so that's why I'm moving it. And that is job done. So, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs up. If you want to see any more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. I am going to do a video a week. Um, it's a new channel, so all your help is much appreciated. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.